This is a quick walk around with our 1982 Subaru Sambar Tri four wheel drive. So this is the kind of higher trim level of the Sambar van uh, from this era. This is a much older Sambar van than the ones we brought in in the past. It's the KR2 body style. Um, this was the very first year that they had this body style. And it's, it's a pretty rare one uh, to find with four wheel drive. These do not come up very often and they definitely don't tend to come up in good shape. So this one has a higher roof. Um, it's got kind of the classic sandbar styling with a bit more of a front end than the other vans had. This is a two cylinder, it's a 550cc. Very small engine, makes about 28 horsepower. And this one, as you can see, is pretty clean on the outside. Um, it's got a little bit of wear and tear. Uh, you can see there's some scratches on the side here. Nothing all that bad. Um, the frame is in really good shape. There's no major rust or anything, which would have been the downfall of this. Um, these are very prone to rust, so it's good to see an example without much. Tires are in great shape. And it has this kind of dark red interior to go along with the silver exterior. 97,000 kilometers on this one, so not too high of mileage, especially if it's well maintained. This one does, it's in need of an exhaust, but that's, that's really the only thing. Uh, it starts right up. So there's a bit of a rattle noise out of the exhaust, and it's a little louder. But besides that, it runs great. It's not super warm yet, so pull the choke a little bit to help it warm up. But original AM radio there, um, no AC, just heat in this one. Cigarette lighter there. This one is a non-smoker. It's a four-speed manual um, with the extra low four-wheel drive gear, so shifts through all the gears just fine. And then you push inwards and go back. You actually you do need to engage four-wheel drive first, which just simply push it forward, that pops on. Then you can get over here into your extra low sort of crawling gear. So pretty cool to have part-time four-wheel drive in one of these older vans. Um, it looks like there's a lot going on here, but you just got your e-brake, four-speed manual, transfer case lever. Very, very cool. Engine's healthy. Just had an oil change and a full inspection done. Brand new spark plugs, new air filter. So, only thing is that exhaust rattle there. Everything else is in great shape. This thing runs great. It's really, really fun to drive. I, I've had a lot of fun driving this one around. It has a lot of character. This is definitely an attention getter. Uh, it has manual seat belts as well. They don't automatically retract. You just kind of hook them up here, pull it down. Um, pretty, very simple, very primitive. And then that light up there is just for your e-brake. If I let that down, that shuts right off. No warning lights. Let's see. Turn the lights on. We can take a look there. So, I'll leave this one running. Uh, oh, you get the cool ambers up here on the side as well. But, yeah, that's a quick walk around with this 1982 Subaru Sandbar. This is such a cool van. Um, we've got this as well as the 84 Acti Street there. So, really, really rare vans, um, and we, we managed to score these kind of around the same time. 
So definitely check this one out on the website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. If you're looking for sort of a little collectible uh, microvan, this is definitely one worth checking out. Thank you for watching.